Hey, Kipsters. My name is Mr. Arrington, and I'm the fourth grade writing teacher at Kip Strive Primary School. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite books that I like to read in the beginning of every school year called Stuck. As I'm reading, I want you to think about this question. Have you ever tried to solve a problem but found yourself making things worse? Well, that's the same thing that our friend Floyd figures out about himself. He's trying to solve this one problem, but it leads to a series of other problems. So let's see what happens to Floyd by the end of our book. All right, scholars, today we're reading the book called Stuck, and it is written and illustrated by Oliver Jeffers. It all began when Floyd's kite became stuck in a tree. He tried pulling and swinging, but it wouldn't come unstuck. The trouble really began when he threw his favorite shoe to knock the kite loose. And that got stuck too. Uh-oh. So he threw up his other shoe to knock down his favorite one. And unbelievably, that got stuck as well. In order to knock down his other shoe, Lloyd fetched Mitch. Now he's putting lives in danger. Let's see what else happens. Cats get stuck in trees all the time, but this was getting ridiculous. Floyd fetched a ladder. He was going to sort this out once and for all. And I'll pee through it. Sure, you can guess what happened. The ladder was borrowed from a neighbor and would definitely need to be put back before anyone noticed. And in order to do so, Floyd flung a bucket of paint at it. And wouldn't you know, the bucket of paint got stuck. Then Floyd tried. See what this young man is going to try now because nothing he's been trying has been working. A duck to knock down the bucket of paint, a chair to knock down the duck, his friend's bicycle to knock down the chair, the kitchen sink to knock down his friend's bicycle, Floyd's front door to knock down the kitchen sink. And while I'm reading this book, I'm starting to wonder where are his parents? The family car to knock down their front door, the milkman to knock down the family car, an orangutan to knock down the milkman who surely had somewhere to be. Here you see the milkman asking the cat, did you get here the same way? A small boat to knock down the orangutan, a big boat to knock down the small boat, a rhinoceros to knock down the big bull, a long distance truck to knock down the rhinoceros, the house across the street to knock down the long distance truck. And you hear the woman screaming for her life, Floyd. A lighthouse to knock down the house no longer across the street. And then this poor little well just trying to talk to him. Hi, what are you doing? A curious well in the wrong place at the wrong time to knock down the lighthouse. And they all got stuck. A fire engine was passing and heard all the commotion. The firemen stopped to see if they could help at all. And up they went. First the engine, followed by the firemen, one by one. You can just see the little fireman just trying to do his job, just asking, can we help at all? And now he's stuck in a tree. And there they stayed, stuck between the orangutan and one of the boats. Firemen would 
definitely be noticed missing. And Floyd knew he'd be in big trouble. Then he had an idea. He went to find the saw. Now he's starting to think here. He's about to find the saw. And if you if you know what a saw does, you know that a saw and a tree, they work well together when used correctly. He lined it up the best he could and hurled it up the tree. That's when I started to have faith in Floyd. He knocks me down again. Here we go. And that was it. There was no more room left in the tree and the kite came unstuck. Floyd was delighted. He had forgotten all about his kite and put it to use immediately enjoying the rest of his day very much. That night, Floyd fell asleep exhausted. Though before he did, he could have sworn there was something he was forgetting. <laughs> you think? Hang on a minute, lads. I've got an idea. That's the fireman speaking. The end. So, what life lesson did you learn from our friend Floyd? I know for me, I learned that we have to try solutions that work. And when we see that those solutions aren't working, we might need to find another route. So maybe not throwing things up in the tree would have been the solution I would have gone with the second time or the third time or the fourth time to get my kite down. Perhaps I would have gotten an adult to help me get a ladder to get my kite down and all those other things I got stuck. Thank you for joining me. I hope to see you again on another read aloud. Love you all, take care.